Deneb. Now the traditional name Deneb is derived from the Arabic word tail, which comes from the phrase Deneb al Tajaha or a tail of a hen. Now Deneb is a very luminous star. It is actually the 19th brightest star to be specific. And in fact it is so luminous that if Deneb would replace the star Vega in the night sky, it would be so bright that it would cast shadows on the earth. Now considering its distance which is approximately 2600 light years away, it is quite far. As far as the location of the Deneb is concerned in the night sky, if you want to look at Deneb, you need to look at the tail of the constellation Cygnus in the night sky. For the astronomical geeks out there, it is right ascension 20 hours 41 minutes and 25.9 seconds with declination of about 45 degrees 16 minutes and 49 seconds. Now Deneb culminates each year on uh, October 23 at 6 pm and September 7 at 9 pm, which means that it transits across the observer's local meridian which corresponds to the summer evenings in the northern hemisphere and it never dips below the horizon at or above 45 degrees north latitude. It also lies on the vertex of the famous summer triangle. Now it is an astronomical asterism in the northern celestial hemisphere. The three defining vertices of the triangle are Altair, Deneb and Vega, each of which is the brightest star in its own constellation. Hmm, interesting. Deneb, for much of his early life, was an O-type mean sequencer. These stars have between 15 to about 90 times the mass of the Sun and the surface temperatures of between 30,000 to 50,000 Kelvin. They are between 40,000 to about 1 million times as luminous as a Sun. It has a mass of about 23 m0, where m0 is the mass of the Sun. But it has now exhausted its hydrogen in its core and has begun to cool and expand. Now stars in the mass range of Deneb eventually expand to become the most luminous red supergiant stars and within a few million years their cores will uh, collapse and producing a supernova explosion. It's also an Alpha Cygni variable star. Now Deneb's brightness varies between the magnitudes 1.21 to about minus 1.29. Its average apparent magnitude is at about 1.25 while its absolute magnitude has been speculated to be around minus 8.38. Astronomers classify Deneb as a blue supergiant star, a class of a star that is about 100 times larger than a sun. Deneb is so massive, even though it loses much of its mass very rapidly. Deneb loses most of its mass due to the strong stellar winds. It loses mass at the rate of about 100 times the rate of the sun's mass loss or it is almost equivalent to about one earth per 500 years. Now Deneb is actually so big that if we were to place this at the center of our solar system, it would extend up to the earth's orbit. The giant is almost twice as hot as our sun and with the surface uh, average temperatures of estimated to be around 8525 Kelvin. Due to the Earth's axial precession, Deneb will be approximately a pole star uh, and it is about 7 degrees off the north celestial pole in around 9880. It would be fun and we have not found any planet circling around the star till date. So that's quite sad. So that's pretty much it for all of this video. I think that's enough information for knowing about a star. And, and don't forget to check out more of my other videos if you are interested in stars and astronomy. Go check out my playlist Know Your Stars. So that's it. Hit like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.